Hey y'all, uh, with the fall coming here pretty soon and frosts on the horizon, um, I want to just take a moment and talk about grazing some of these cover crops, especially ones like this where we've got some different sorghums uh, in the mixture. Now, if you go on different forums, you're going to hear a bunch of different uh, takes on what happens or what you need to watch out for whenever you have a frost and you're grazing. The big thing that you need to know is that sorghum plants, uh, like this, sorghum sedan grass, uh, and a few others, will produce cyanide if they are frosted. They also produce toxic compounds when they're uh, very short and young. So whenever you have a light frost that starts to cause the leaves to wilt, uh, you need to take your cattle off of that uh, pasture. This morning I woke up, there was no frost really in the forecast, and then I get out and I see that there is frost. So I rushed over here and pulled the cattle off, and you can see they did eat some. We'll see if anything comes of it, or if maybe I they ate this before the frost set in and wilted. Um, but you need to watch out for that. Cyanide uh, is, it, it kills. It's a dangerous compound. There's a little bit of confusion about nitrates and if those cause any issues. And what really happens is whenever you have, uh, if you put a lot of nitrogen fertilizer on your sorghums or your sorghum sand grasses, then it actually increases the concentration of cyanides. So the frost in the sorghum family, uh, it's just releasing that uh, cyanide. If you have drought conditions, they can be more concentrated but it's not nitrate poisoning in the sorghum family. Nitrate poisoning is a bigger issue in uh, especially droughty conditions uh, with more of your other grasses. Sorghums might kind of be in there too, but nitrate poisoning is a drought problem where if it's been dry for quite a long time and uh, you've got lots of excess nitrogen in the ground and then you get a rain, that plant is gonna suck up all the nitrogen it can and uh, create a nitrate poisoning situation. Nitrates are generally not the issue when it comes to frost. However, related to nitrogen-ish things, if your mix is very heavy in legumes, so your alfalfas, your clovers, things like that, and you get a frost, you need to be on the lookout for bloat. Uh, bloat is something, to be honest, I don't remember off the top of my head the mechanism for bloat, but bloat will kill cattle as well. Their bodies will, their, their stomachs will just swell up and um, they'll foam and die from bloat. And that's a problem with legumes that are frosted if they're heavy in the concentration. If there's just a few pieces of clover out in the field, it's probably not going to be a big deal. It's um, less of a deal than if you had just a few sorghums. I, I'd be more worried about a few sorghums than a few clovers in your uh, grazing mix. But uh, so that's something that you need to be aware of after the frost is off and uh, the dew is off of your clovers after that frost, they're generally going to be okay to graze in that situation. Whereas here, since some of these sorghums have been potentially frosted, I'll have to look at them later in the day. But if these have wilted much and started to die, then I'll need to keep the cattle off of this for, um, you know, maybe 10 days or so before that cyanide leaves. If we get some really warm weather, I could probably let them on there sooner. The, so the cyanide will have uh, evaporated, will have boiled out of the leaves. Um, but, so I need to be more careful about that time period uh, compared to clovers where I can just uh, let them back on later in the day. So those are just some things to be aware of as we're getting close to frost season here in the Midwest. And uh, hopefully you're aware of some of these things. I encourage you go to Google. The forums are full of lots of people with lots of opinions. But if you Google cyanide and sorghum or frost and grazing, you will get lots of university uh, bulletins and studies that talk about what you need to look out for. They're obviously gonna tell you things that are much more uh, cautious. And it's always good to err on the side of caution. Every once in a while you'll hear about a farmer who said, oh, I don't worry about it, it's just in the mix and the cows know the difference one way or the other. 
Um, that may be their experience, and that's great if they're not having an issue, but if, if you're just kind of starting out with some of these things, I would definitely encourage you to err on the side of caution. So uh, that's just your little public service announcement for today. Hopefully my calves didn't graze too much sorghum uh, that got frosted here. We'll find out. I just moved the fence yesterday uh, hoping that we, because we do have some frost coming up on Sunday. So I was hoping that they could eat for a couple of days and eat the sorghum down before the frost came and then I wouldn't have to worry about it. You can see here the stuff where they had been grazing. They really, um, you know, I wouldn't be worried about them being on this too much because there's not much left for them in terms of sorghum. So potentially I'll come and move that fence back so that they can kind of nibble at some of this other green stuff here that won't cause them any issues. Otherwise, I'll have to pen them up in the barnyard and just feed them hay. So that's what we got going on. I hope you guys are enjoying a lovely fall and uh, getting things ready for this upcoming change of seasons.